Scuba Steve. By Black Bottle Brewery in Fort Collins, Colorado. There's a glass visual for you all. Looks very golden-y. It's got like the same color as like a Stella Artois. Scuba Steve IPA. Tell us about it. 6.3% uh, alcohol by volume. It's got Scuba Steve on it with a mullet. It's pretty dope. Um, yeah, it says... American Underwater IPA. That's yeah. why we bottled it, duh. <laughs> and it says drink underwater and then at the bottom it says don't actually drink underwater with your scuba gear on. <laughs> I would That'd try it. That'd be funny. Alright. That guy's drinking underwater. We're gonna try it. Yeah, he's doing the whole... Oh, Black Bottle Brewery is located in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, I've, I've been to that brewery. It's pretty cool. They I have... Know. They have well, Scuba Steve is one of their like one of their staples, but yeah. they also have um, God, I forgot what beer it is. But when I was there, they had all the the tabs, and one of them was this like tax taxidermy squirrel, and I was like, give me that squirrel, <laughs> like it literally was the handle of the thing. <laughs> it was kind of cool. That's funny. So yeah, they have like a dead squirrel as one of their tap handles, so that's cool. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Is that the beer dead squirrel? No, I forget what it's called. Be funny. Squirrely something? No, I literally forget. All right, let's drink. I'll probably think. Oh, it'll hit me after this video's over. All right. It's got a lot of crazy different flavors. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Piney for sure. Piney hops. Um. It's malty. Malty flavors. Does it end in a dry note or no? A little bit of dry note. It's got floral in it too, for sure. Yeah, floral flavors. Maybe some like mm, citrusy. Citrus, maybe that's citrus is like right right away. Mhm. Mm I mean, for an IPA, it's not not terrible. No, I feel like it's not super IPA either, like most IPAs are. Maybe it's the flavor that I don't know, because sometimes. Sometimes when I get the name in my head, like, that's what I'm thinking about the whole time when I'm drinking it, and, like, I don't know. For me, I feel like I'm, like, underwater, like, drinking bubbles or something, and, like... That's because you have a creative mind. This is my beer of choice. She's, <laughs> but, just, she's just creative. I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think it's yeah. a well-rounded IPA. Yeah, um, good. You definitely get the hops in there. Piney. We already went over some of the other ones. Floral notes, citrus. I feel like the more I drink, the drier it gets. Too. Yeah, it definitely, it's dry finish for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like every sip though, I feel like it gets like more, more and more dry. More, yeah. I don't mind it. I'm not a huge dry person, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm starting to like IPAs, but I'm not still a huge fan. Um, I would say, as far as everything goes together on this one, I like the artwork for sure on the bottle, but. As far as the IPA and the actual beer itself, I'd give it like a 7 probably. Um, I think it's a decent beer. It's got a lot of flavors which kind of um, go well together. It's got a lot of um, hops. Definitely a lot of different hop flavors. Um, the citrus and floral kind of. And I love. I kind of like the dry ending and the fact that I feel like the more you drink, the drier it gets. Right. Um, I'm gonna put it at uh, just a eight. Eight. I think it's a, yeah, it's a well-rounded IPA. Uh, I think that's yeah, that's my reasoning for the eight. <laughs> All right. All right. That's the scuba Seven Steve, guys. And eight. Seven and eight. It's a wrap on the Steve of scubas. Mm. All right. Peace.